Oh, good morning. This is Charles Freer. Could I speak to Miss Avril Roth, please? I'm sorry, Mr. Freer. We did try to dissuade her, but I'm afraid Miss Roth discharged herself earlier this morning. Discharged herself? Yes. Did she say where she was going, what she intended to do? I'm afraid not. I see. Uh, would you like... No, 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 it's all right. I'll reach her at home. Thank you. We'll get you some breakfast. No, thank you. I've already had something. Edward, I want to know what you thought you were doing last night. Whatever made you stand there and announce our engagement? Don't you think you ought to have waited for my decision first? It was meant as a compliment, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. You embarrassed me, Edward. You embarrassed me in front of my son, my mother and my friends. We are proposing to get married, aren't we? One likes to be asked. Haven't I? A lot. Oh, John. Nice to call. What can I do for you? Excuse me. Not a very good moment to discuss the prenuptial agreement. I'll talk to you later. Sorry about that. I have to go, Edward. Someone's got hold of the story. The templates. They printed an article about the theft. Pity. Still, it's only three paragraphs. Those three paragraphs might as well be my obituary. No, there's nothing I can't cancel, no. All right. 12.15 at your place. Look forward to it. Bye now. But if I do get results? Come on, Sarah. I just want to know if Ledger Cruz is going to let me race full time. Leo, you've got Venom's final trials this afternoon. I suggest you get ready for that. Otherwise, there won't be a race or a license. Meanwhile, are we selling boats or are we selling boats? Thank you. Was that necessary? Leo still has to prove himself. Well, he'll be all right. He's got David navigating. Sarah, we are talking about 150,000 pounds worth of boat. Are we? Or is it you who wants to be in the driving seat? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to cancel lunch. Why? Oh, business, I'm sorry. Might extend into the afternoon. What about these clients, the Russians? You said yourself if we can get an opening in the Eastern Bloc Sarah, countries. I'm leaving them to you. But, Ken, I thought you Sarah, personally wanted to... I'm saying I trust you. OK. I'll show them round. I had it so clear in my mind what I wanted to say to you. But, well, look, I just want to know what you want. What do you want? To help, if I can. Why? Because I'm your father. What, and suddenly that matters, does it? Years of nothing, not even bothering I you I didn't now. know, Abby. It's true, I didn't find out till after William was born. Why should I lie to you? You want to get William back, don't you? I know my father's been trying to help you. I need his help. You thought about his motives, the strings that might be attached? What about you, your motives? 
Abby, the last thing I want to do is to interfere with your life in any way. But if I can, I'd like to help. I know Gerald's feelings for you. I can imagine yours for him, but I just thought we might get to know each other. You and I are strangers. I think it's probably better if we remain that way. All right, if that's what you prefer. Do you excuse me? I'm trying to get hold of someone. A missing person? Something like that, yes. He's yours? Mm-hmm. This one. I took a photograph just like it. I didn't know you were a photographer. Oh, not yet. If I could manage to get some decent equipment, I thought... I must go. Yes, yes, I've got to rush off. OK, goodbye. Goodbye, Abby. If I can help, whatever it is, would you at least think of asking me, even as a stranger? Thank you. It's all very impressive. Sir Edward certainly isn't stinting. I suppose all this is necessary. Work on the America's Cup, we have to upgrade security, Emma. How do you communicate with the other designers on the team? Oh, it's all linked to Design HQ. This is what Ian Cartwright's been doing in Formouth. It's as simple as if we're in the same room. And it's secure? Mm. When I'm not operating here, it's all retrieved and stored in the central computer. Which reminds me, Sir Edward wants us all to sign a confidentiality agreement, just in case. In case of what? I'm sorry to disturb you, Mr. Aaron, but the new anti fouling for spring has just arrived. I reckon we could get it on and relaunch her in time to catch tomorrow morning's tide. All right, let's go for that. Anything else? Nah. Bill, it's only a few locks and a burglar alarm. It should have been done ages ago. That's a burglar alarm? Yes. Computer too, eh? It's as simple as switching on a light switch. Well, it's nothing to do with me, Mr. Eric. I'm just wondering what Jack's gonna say when he comes back and finds out he's gonna ask a computer to get into his own yard. What am I supposed to tell them, Polly? Yes, we've had all our designs stolen, but there's nothing to worry about. We've got the fairies working on our side. Oh, damn that article. Coffee. No, thanks. So how many have pulled out now? Oh, rats usually wait until the ship is actually sinking, Polly. Besides, we've got contracts with most of our clients. They won't break them until we do. They'll just sit back and wait until we start missing our deadlines. Which won't be long now, will it? What about the distribution deal? Show if the Europeans... I don't know, Polly! Fire... I'm sorry. It's all right, I quite understand. I'll just have to persuade them to go through with the distribution deal, otherwise I don't know what we're going to do. I really don't. Anyone on board? be a sore spot with me. I once owned that piece of land till Charles Frere cheated me out of it. So that's what this is all about, revenge. Maybe. Frere eventually sold it to Graham Cousins. And you want to meet Cousins to buy that? What did you arrange with him, Antony? Mm. I said we meet at around 1.30. No, it's not going to be we. I want to meet him on my own. You're not by any chance trying to use me, Ken, are you? Because I don't like that. I'm doing you a lot of favours right now. Oh, and I appreciate it. No, really. You know, you and I could be very useful to each other. <laughs> Maybe. But I want to know what I'm getting into, Ken. 
I mean, I've seen what you've done to Jan Howard, remember? Well, I was just trying to make her more, uh... Vulnerable? I have an interest in her business, Antonio. And whilst Jan's on top, she won't let me increase it. It is just her business you're interested in, isn't it, Ken? All right, let's try another tack. Graham Cussens. Now, what do I know? Cussens bought some land he once owned from Charles Frere. But then he's bought a whole load of land right round the coast. Why? Because he thinks he can beat the environmentalists and get this tourist development scheme of his through. Not anymore. I happen to know he's had his appeal turned down. Now, he could sit around and wait for things to change. But if I were him, I'd be inclined to sell, wouldn't you? You're going to buy his land. All of it. You really think you can take on the environmental lobby? Not on the tourist issue. But I've done extensive research into this stretch of the coast. And I think I know something that I could. You're going places, aren't you, Ken? Mm. Why don't you come along for the ride? I told you we could be very useful to each other. I don't want problems, Ken. I'll come along for the time being, but no problems. Just so long as you understand that. Oh, I think we understand each other perfectly. Don't you? And we look forward to hearing from you, etc., etc. Now, the Gans. Uh, I want a formal reminder sent to them, Nicola. Oh, and you can add. Unless we get guaranteed delivery dates, we'll have no alternative but to take our business elsewhere. What the hell are you doing here? That's all for now, Nicola. Thank you. Not in front of my secretary, please. It was a couple of weeks ago that you were in intensive care. You weren't even expected to live. What in the name of common sense are you doing back at work? What are you going to do about it? Force my resignation and have Gerald take over Relton as well. Oh, and, and while we're on the subject, I'd like to know why he's put a hold on our expansion into the powerboat market. I did not come here to discuss business. Oh, it's about time we did. He hasn't even given me an explanation. Will you listen to me? Obviously, you've decided to abandon your commitments. Well, I can't accept that. It's not my way of doing things, and I didn't think it was yours. I have not abandoned my commitments. I've merely redefined them. I thought we were both trying to do that. What is it? Tell me. I just want to get back to work. Forget about the crash, what happened. Do you blame me? No. Oh, I don't know. Avril. Please, Charles, I'm not a child. I just want to get back to my career. You do what you have to do, but that's where I'm going. Oh, and if I feel ill, I shall rest. Please try and understand that. Do I have a choice? Well, no. Well, that's settled then. There is one other thing. What? Where are we going for lunch? Nowhere to fall. Avril, promise me you'll take care of yourself. Yes. Of course, it would be the last resort, Tom, but... Well, I may have to sell my shares in the yard. Yes, yeah, all right, Jan. If you have to sell, then I'll buy your shares. What? I was just thinking about why I bought into the yard in the first place. <laughs> and I was the one with the crisis. And you were riding high. And now you're facing this. It's like some crazy seesaw. I wish it weren't, Jan, for your sake. I sometimes wonder why we fell apart, Tom. Thanks, anyway. Jam, what about Edward? No. But surely if he loves you... I won't then... confuse my business with my personal life, Tom. I've survived on my own merits, and this is my independence. Jam. I won't lose it. Jam. I won't let him, Tom. It would be charity. Jan, you are not entering into a business merger with this man. You are marrying him. No, you've got to go. Morning. Morning, Jack. Morning, Jack. Look, I have to go. All right. Now, let me know how the distributing deal goes. And if there's anything I can do... Thank you. Oh. 
Now, where have you been, Jack? Uh, time off. Enjoy myself, OK? Hey. <coughs> What's this? Oh, that's our new alarm. We've also had new locks fitted, too. I've got some keys for you. Uh, I'll let you know how it works in a minute. The whole thing only takes a couple of easy operations. It's all linked to the local police station. Police station? Like hell it is. Jack! I don't care if you're designing for NASA. I'm not going to be linked to any bloody police station. This isn't Fort Knox, it's a bloody boatyard. Look, and we don't put up barbed wire fencing around here just because you've agreed to design some computerized freak with too much sail on Jack, top of her. We're all in this together. No, you're in it, you and old Edward Freer. Nothing to do with me. Hey, what are all you guys staring at? Have you got any work to do? And what are you going to do now? Nothing you'd understand, matey. How are you? OK, and you? How'd it go? I'm not sure. I told him I thought it was best if we just leave each other alone. And do you? I just want to be me. God, sometimes I wish I could just start now. No past, just me and William. Yeah, I know it's going to be hard. I know that, but I've got to believe I can get him back. Why do you think I'm staying at Highfield? Why are you? Because if anyone can help me against the Hudson family, it's one of the freers. Well, any one of them. Charles, Sir Edward, my mother too soon. Just take your pick, eh? What are you talking about? I didn't think you used people, Abby. I'm not. Not like that. <laughs> Is that why you went to see your father today? See if he'd come in handy? Oh, drop it, Leo. What do you expect me to do anyway? Are you going to help me pay the legal fees? You can play around racing boats, talk of principles. My son isn't a game. Sorry. I used to have so many ideals, remember? I used to look at men like my, like Charles Freer, winners, and think it was all just greed and cruelty. But all my life, all I've ever done is lose. Not anymore. I can't help you with your legal fees, Abby. No, you can't use me. I didn't mean I that. I don't care what Here. you mean. I don't need your condescension. You do what you want to, Abby. Only don't tell me I'm playing around. I'm racing Venom to win. Oh, please. I'm ruthless. Absolutely without mercy. Come on. I've got an assignment for you. What do you mean? I've got our future all mapped out. Our future? Yep. No more brooding darkly over families. I'm going to become a world champion racing driver and you're going to record it all on celluloid. So, Gerald, are you suggesting that we call a truce? No matter what has passed between you and your son, Sir Edward, I don't share his private views. I'm merely looking after his business interests. Well, obviously, we're both worried about Charles. I assure you that I want to see him back, working just as much as you. Meantime, vis-a-vis -vis Freer Holdings, I don't really know who I'm talking to, do I? I'm sorry, I, uh, I don't think that I understand you. Oh, I think you do. You're asking me to deal with you while Charles is away playing the absentee landlord, but how long is this game going to last? Oh, I sympathise, Gerald. You're in an exceedingly awkward position. Anyway, have you seen my proposals for the third phase of the business park development? Yes, I glanced through them this morning. No comment? I shall have to discuss them with Charles. Oh, Course. Your table is ready, sir. Oh, thank you. Well, won't you stay and have a spot of lunch? Uh, no, thanks. I have another appointment. Thank you all the same. Sir John, Edward. Gerald. Uh, Gerald. I want my interests to be the same as his. Very much. Tell Charles that, will you? And uh, send him my love. Oh, that's love. Master Kenneth, what in? Yeah. She used to be everywhere these days. I'll have a look at the. Anyway, this one. Perhaps he's after us. What did you think about all that this morning, then? OK, Leo, ready to time you out? Leo is the son of Venom's designer, Tom Howard. He's going to be our new driver.
pushes it hardly out. Pushing it, Mrs. Foster. He should have turned by now. Leo? Leo, are you on the fight? I can't turn it. We've lost control. She won't turn it. Leo, are you all right? I can't turn it. She's got it's jammed open. rather more excitement than I intended. Uh, perhaps you'd like to see some of our quieter boats now. And do help yourself to drink. Thank you. He nearly kills himself and all he cares about is a bloody race. What is going on, Abby? What do you mean? I mean, Leo was driving as if he was trying to prove something. I don't know. He wants to race, that's all. Well, then it's just as well Ken wasn't here, because if he'd seen Leo today, he'd pull him out. Oh, I was uh, just looking for a plaque. It uh, used to be here. This what you mean? Oh, yeah. Great, great. You the owner? Grecian lady? Yeah. Farm boat you got here. Mm, that's right. I'm Jack Rolfe. I own this boat yard. Sellers. Harry Sellers. Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Harry. Mm. Nice to meet you. Okay, girl. Uh, she's not too well. So what can I do for you, Jack? Oh, I've got some drawings here you might like to see. They're a Grecian lady, but she had a different name then. I'm the man who built her, Harry. 25 years ago. <laughs> Oh, hello, Gerald. Charles, I can't go on like this. What are you talking about? I cannot continue as chief executive if I have to defer every decision until I've consulted you. Well, I'm not asking you to consult me. Well, what the hell are you asking? Well, you take whatever decisions you think are appropriate. You're serious? Perfectly. Well, then don't expect my judgment to coincide with yours. Right. Because it won't. Right. You realize how vulnerable you're making us? My dear Gerald, how vulnerable we are or not depends entirely upon you. You're the one in control now. For how long? Well, I have no plans to return in the immediate future. Why? For God's sake, why? Hmm? Gerald, come here. I bought a warehouse on the waterfront. I'm going to fund an art centre there. And that's your reason? There are things I want to do. Give this to Abby for me, would you? Please. All right, Charles. All right. If you're not going to run Frey Holdings, then I will. My way. Well done. Good night. Bye, Gerald. Yes? Hello, my darling. Hi. We're going out now, so I'll say good night. And tomorrow I'm going to be over at my mother's. I'm going to get some stuff to bring back here. Can I take the Ranger over? Oh, of course. Good night. Have a lovely evening. Uh, Leo, could I have a word? 
What is it? You realize Abby has a very difficult case with her son. The Hudsons are a wealthy and powerful family. She's not going to get custody of William very easily. I know that. You see, lawyers, particularly American lawyers, are not very principled when it comes to a fight. They'll be digging the dirt, and they'll do anything they can to prejudice Abby's case and her character. For example, you may be construed as a casual lover, and that wouldn't look very good. I don't think this is any of your business. It's all of our business, Leo. Let me get this straight. Are you trying to warn me or something? I'm trying to get you to use your brains. Right. Oh, and Leo, do understand. I will get my great-grandson back, and I won't tolerate any obstacles, whatever or whoever they are. Good night, Sir Edward. Good night, Leo. Gerald? Hello, darling. Where on earth have you been? We're going to be late. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I, I've gone completely blank. What are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be going to a dinner party. The rights. Oh, I forgot. Uh, well, look, I ought to get changed then. Uh, don't worry. Suppose it doesn't matter. Chief executives can afford to be late. I'm sure you're right. Well, in that case, do you mind if I sit down just for a couple of minutes? Let me get you a drink, my darling. You look absolutely exhausted. How was your day? Not good. Gerald, you don't think I let you down, do you? Darling, what do you want about? As a chief executive's wife, I mean. I think I should have something more important to do than just running a boutique, don't you? Like what? Well, as you know, Jan's in a bit of trouble at the moment, and this might be just the time to offer her some financial assistance. I could become a partner, Gerald. Why, Polly? Why, why, why? What do you mean? Well, you have to scheme and manoeuvre, don't you? I don't see why you should take that attitude. Why shouldn't I be a little ambitious? I mean, after all, Jan's going to become Lady Free any minute now. You don't suppose Edward's going to let her go on working, do you? I mean, look at the way he's treating Abby. How do you mean? As family, Gerald. That's what he wants, just as he wants Charles. Eh? Yes, Charles. He'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Nothing jarring you down then, Harry? No. My old mother used to bring me back, but she's long dead now. <laughs> Still got a cottage here, but well. Merchant Navy all my life, Jack. Then I put my savings into the lady here. I guess I've stuck to what I've known. The old sea never changes. Man can't get a grip on her like he does with the land. You know, we're lucky, Jack, you and me, men of the sea. Nature's still alive for us. Oh, I don't know, Harry. Sometimes I think it's all gone. The old skills, traditions, a way of seeing things. Yeah, but you've got your yard. It's your building. Harry, I'll let you into a secret. I feel like a bloody fool in my own yard. And do you know why? Because I'm not needed anymore. <laughs> Man like you, build a boat like this, <laughs> you'll always be needed. Ah, oh, that's just it. They don't want boats like the old lady now. That's all I know. Hey, do you know something, Harry? My partner, right, Tom Howard, mm -hmm. he's a good lad. Bloody good designer, right? He works on a computer in the office. And do you know, Harry, I've got no bloody idea what he's doing. <laughs> Damn it, I can't even bloody type. <laughs> Ah, no, no, they don't want it anymore. Not what I learned. I've got to accept it, Harry. I'm no bloody use anymore. Jack. Hmm? Seems to me you're wrong, you know. Ah, maybe. Anyway, anyway, enough about me. What about you? Me? Uh, well, suppose he is dying. Aren't you, girl? I got a bit of arthritis myself, so the two of us, we got to anchor up. Time to come in, Jack. Time to come in. But 
You know, whatever you say, boats don't change. They haven't in a thousand years. It's always the same, and it always will be. Building against the sea, the way you built Grecian Lady. What will you do with her, Harry? I don't know. Probably have to sell her in the end. Well, if you decide to sell, would you let me know? Because I'd like the chance to buy her. Well, it was you, Jack. Wouldn't be so bad. Jan, I've been looking for you everywhere. What on earth are you doing here? I'm working on tomorrow's meeting. Surely there's not all that work to do now at this time of night. It's just that something doesn't quite add up. Oh, come on, darling. It's late. Why don't you come back home? Yes, I suppose you're right. What's happening to me, Mother? I keep going over and over it in my mind and I end up suspecting everybody. Not me, I hope. Oh, of course not. The clients, Polly, even Edward. Yeah. I suppose he is trying to make me dependent upon him. Oh, what nonsense. You will stop this line of thinking, my girl. You're going to marry him. Hello? You're working late. Oh, Ken. I was going to leave a message on the answer machine. Well, you can leave it with me instead. Well, I understood you were having a few problems. Wanted to know if there's anything I could do to help. No, I don't think so, thanks, Ken. Well, I know it's only a small share, but I'm still in this with you. I mean, I could increase my stake if it would ease things. Well, that's very generous of you, Ken. Why? Because I know you and I know you'll pull through. Think about it, will you? All right, I'll think about it, Ken. Hope things work out. Good night, Jan. Good night. You're going to need me soon, my darling. And I make very sure of that. Hi. Mm. Oh, nice go. All right, Jack. Yes, I'm fine. So you'll buy Jan's shares? If she has to sell, yes. I owe it to her. What about Jack? Well, they were my shares in the first place. I'll keep him informed if he'll stay long enough to listen, that is. Um, regardless of what happens with Jan, I'd like you to be more involved, if you'd like to be, that is. I'm told my presence at the yard is hard enough for Jack to swallow. I don't think I'll I will. won't force anything on him, I promise. But I'd like it. In more ways than one. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Excuse me, I telephone. Who is it? The police. Ah, thanks very much. Hello, Tom Howard. Uh, what are you doing? Well, now, well, now, well, now, what's all this? Hey, hey, what are you doing? I mean, I'm the owner of this. You have my name. My name's Jack Rob. I've been here for 30 years and it don't seem to take too long. I tell you, who's this? Hey, Tom, tell him, Tom. I'm trying to get in my own yard and they're trying to nick me. You see? I just go to say I love you. I just go to say how much I... Officer, could I possibly have a word? And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> OK, Mr. Aaron, she's ready to go. Right, go on, let's get in the water. <laughs> yeah, I do have a job to go to, Dad. Leo? You all right? Yeah, fine. Listen, I'm thinking of entering Spring Up for a few races. Would you be interested in sailing, huh? I'll be racing for leisure cruise, Dad. I won't have the time. You are taking it seriously, aren't you? Any reason why I shouldn't? No. I'll just put her in the water, then. I got the slack. Oh, thanks. Well, 
What is it, Tom? Nothing. I was thinking about Jack. Drunk or sober, that wasn't very pleasant last night. No. Where is he, anyway? Oh, he's still pursuing that old boat he was talking about, I think. I don't want to exclude him, Emma. That's not what the America's Cup is about. I need him. Then tell him. I think he needs to know. Hello, darling. Well, what a nice surprise. How are you? I'm fine. Mother at work? Where else? I can't say I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean it quite like that. It's just, well... Mm. Your mother loves you very much, you know. You ought to realise that. I do, from a distance. I wonder what we've done to you. You haven't done anything. You've been brilliant. Nothing's changed, Dad, has it? Not between you and me. You ought to get to know him, you know. He's your father. No, you're my father, my real father. Always will be. Power, speed and grace combined with... Hi, Sarah. Ken about? No. Huh? What were you doing yesterday, Leo? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Tell me, why do you think I should let you drive in the race next week? Because I think I can win. I'd expect Ken to say that. Perhaps you're learning from him. Maybe I am. Is that so bad? Well, you're going to have a chance to find out. I'm away tomorrow to Guernsey for a few days. So you two can be together, can't you? I was trying to show, I don't know, you, Abby, myself, that... That what? That you could kill yourself? I won't do it again. No, you won't. Then you're not going to let me race? I'm not going to stop you. Not this time. Because I know you're intelligent enough to realise what a fool you were. But you will never do that to me again, Leo, you understand? Because I don't want to watch another crash. Or another death. Ever. Harry! Hail Harry! I've come to see really. He isn't in, I'm afraid. Oh. This isn't a message service, is it, from my father? <laughs> no, it's not. Look, could you get Joel to ring me? Uh, I'd be most grateful. I'll be at Relton. No, Avril, please, I'm sorry. Would you like to come in? Well, is there any point? There ought to be, don't you think? Oh, new camera. From him. I'm still not sure what to make of it. He may be wary of Charles, but he only wants to be your friend, Abby. Take it or leave it. But please, don't hurt him. Ah, oh, now, what can I do for you? You know, this reminds me of not so long ago. We did some good business in those days, didn't we, you and I and Charles? Uh, I wonder if we can again. I hope so. Well then, Gerald, we both know that this rivalry between Edward and his son does not make good business sense. I agree. I won't tell you that I come here without Edward's blessing, because you wouldn't believe me if I did. But what I think you can believe is that the man is genuinely anxious for a reconciliation with his son. Perhaps. And your new position as chief executive gives us a unique opportunity to break the deadlock. How do you expect me to convince Charles of that? Oh, I don't. <laughs> But is he interested anymore, Gerald? I mean, about the business. What are you suggesting? That the two sides should join forces. A genuine, I mean genuine, amalgamation. On a project large enough to be worthwhile to both of them. Of course, we realise that it's largely up to you now. Mm -hmm. I imagine you have something in mind. Yes. 
I believe we're going to meet again later this afternoon. Huh? Thanks, Emma. Bill? This doesn't commit me, does it? No, no, no. It's just a piece of paper. Mm. All right, Mr. Aaron. Well, I, uh, I bought it off him. Old Harry Sellers has sold me, the Grecian lady. That's great, Jack. Poor old chap, his dog died last night. So he had to get rid of his boat. Still, that's what he wanted. Hey, you're just in time, Jack. We need your signature. Signature for what? Uh, Sir Edward's asked everybody with access to the equipment to sign this confidentiality agreement. Uh, I don't care what he's asked for. This isn't his yard. It's mine. It's a formality. It's nothing else. <laughs> nothing else? I can't get into my own yard without being arrested. No, I've got to sign the official secret, sir. Jack! No, no, please. Please, Bill, uh, stay out of this. It's between Tom and me. I'll tell you something, Tom. I've had it. I don't belong here anymore. Uh, that's perfectly clear to me now. So I, uh, I quit, Tom. You can buy my shares if you like, and if you don't, somebody else will. But I'm going, Tom. For good. you take the afternoon off? <laughs> I can't. I've got some very important business to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you really shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Couldn't resist seeing the lion in his den. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, the other cats are due back any moment, so I suggest... Mm. I suggest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Really must. I've got to get the lads are too bad for work any minute. Sarah. Business only, Ken. Starting from now. Come on, Jack, stop it now. We'll, we'll go for a drink. We'll talk it over. Come on. You can't leave the yard. It's our life, Jack. It's what we've lived for. is running late. Yes. I have to tell you, I'm worried sick. You and me both, Kate. Jan, yeah, I'm so glad. I'll go and get some glasses. They agreed. You got the deal. You know, Polly, it's exactly as I thought it would be. We lost it. So, ladies, we are on our own. They've got... Yes. <laughs> the doors are going to start closing against us. We're going to start running out of stock. And we're going to miss our deadlines. Jan, are you all right? Yes, Polly, I'm absolutely fine. And do you know why? Because I'm going to fight. Someone somewhere is operating against me. And I don't intend to give them the pleasure of watching me go under. That's my girl. Cheers.
it's about. You don't want these on. I have the faintest idea. A seismographic test. A complete survey of the whole of the coastal stretch. That's what it's all about, Gerald. What we're standing on. Here and as far as the eye can see. Oil. 